This Coast Guard Harbour familiarization video has been developed to help in the training of our new Coast Guard radio room and boat crew members. We'll be showing aerial and sea level clips at day and night of points of interest on approaches to and inside Malulaba. Approaches to marinas, fueling stations, anchorages, boat yards and watering holes will also appear, seen from the perspective of a visiting boat, unfamiliar with the entrance and the river, creeks and waterways that adorn the area. This footage shows daylight approaches to suggested waypoints 1 when approaching from the south and then waypoint 2 if coming from the north. Once at waypoint 2, boaters may want to observe the weather conditions, states of the tide, the capabilities and characteristics and draft of their vessel, together with acquiring local knowledge by reading up on the latest notices to mariners and seek up-to-date information from Coast Guard Radio on their working VHF Channel 73. MSQ regularly survey the entrance channel and arrange dredging operations when required. Details of the minimum depths at LAT in the white, green and red sectors are regularly updated and published in the latest notices to mariners NTM. On entering the main channel, speeds are restricted to a maximum 6 knots with no wash. In a medevac emergency this public pontoon is the recommended destination for our rescue vessels, as it has better access for emergency services. All public pontoons in Malulaba are for temporary loading and unloading only. Each has a maximum stay of one hour. Unleaded fuel is available at this location. Returning to the main channel, heading upriver, max speed is 6 knots with no wash. Towards the end of the marina fingers and adjacent to the green lateral beacon, we can now turn to port and into the Kawana Waters Canal. The max speed in this canal is set at 4 knots with no wash. After viewing the layout and facilities of this canal in detail, this video tutorial will resume from this point and follow the main channel where we will explore the further layout and facilities leading to public launching ramps and pontoons, trailer parking, toilets, ice and water machine, Coast Guard offices and pontoons, the wharf cafes, anchorages and further along the Mulula River. We now head south into Kawana Waters Canal. The max speed here is 4 knots. Either side, there are numerous inlets which are labelled along the way. Care should be taken as the channel is narrow. Deeper draft boats especially, need to monitor the depth of water and state of the tide. At this main channel's end, there are numerous facilities accessible to visitors. These include diesel fuel, lorries boat yard, Kawana Waters Marina, cafes, bars and restaurants. There is also a small anchorage allowing visitors short-term access to the Kawana shopping centers, the second largest on the coast, and other facilities. 
On returning to the main channel, max speed with no wash, reverts to 6 knots. In Queensland, overhead clearances are measured from the highest astronomical tide, as opposed to mean high water in other areas. Clearance height information given here is not guaranteed. The pontoon water tap key is held in the radio room. Make a note of an MOP's mobile number if they wish to use it. As we move down the channel, past the Coast Guard building to starboard, note that while casual anchoring for example, to fish or have lunch, may be allowed in the harbour, an adjacent area shaded red. Overnight or permanent anchoring is not allowed. The main channel now widens into the area locals call the duck pond. Caution must be taken when proceeding south or wishing to anchor. While the area in the center appears inviting, it is in fact very shallow and boats often run aground here. There is also coffee rock to the south of the port hand lateral. There is a short stay anchoring area shown in this aerial shot and small craft moorings at points 28 and 29 controlled by MSQ Brisbane. Continuing south, the channel splits into two. Divided by the Outrigger Park, both channels pass under Mackenzie's Bridge with clearances and depths that limit navigation to small craft only. To port, the channel leads into the Pariara Channel. To starboard is the continuation of the Malula River. Turning to port and proceeding along Pariara, at a distance of about one nautical mile, is an automated lock. If the lock gate facing you is closed, use the scanning card at the highlighted locations to gain entry. Approximately 1.8 nautical miles further south, the Pariara Channel finishes at the weir. Beyond the weir this waterway bisects the Malula River. Returning to Mackenzie's Bridge and Outrigger Park, we will take a brief look at the Mulula River Channel. After passing the second overhead bridge, vessels should turn sharp to port to take the left-hand channel, which is more suitable for deeper draft boats. We now return to Outrigger Park. and head back to review the duck pond area, then return to the Coast Guard pontoon. Anchoring is prohibited beyond a line marked on both sides of the channel. The approximate area is shaded red. The arrow's position and direction merely show one possible route round the shallow duck pond area. This concludes the presentation. It is for information only and is not to be used for navigation. Future revisions may also include overhead aerial footage and details of the Maruchu River Bar and Channel. Comments, suggestions and updates to this project are welcome. Please email these to Richard Horoshevsky at coastguard.com.au.